Miami Dolphins 2017 High School Media Day. I'm with Coach Brunson, Miami Jackson head coach. Coach Brunson, great to meet you and great to have you here. Tell us uh, what this media day means to you and your student athletes. Well, it means a lot to the student athletes. Um, gets them the exposure. They get to see other team players. I mean, players that's, I mean, quote unquote, top players. You know. To me, it just, it's the day I spend with my kids, you know, get to talk to them, get to show them how to do interviews, how people view them, how people view the team, you know, just all around the exposure, it's a great event. Who are some of the outstanding student athletes that we should expect to see that should be doing things this year? Well, I got Keyshawn Paul, he's a um, cornerback. I also have Gabriel Dunn, wide receiver, uh, my old lineman Gregory Smith. I mean, I, all in all, I got a, a well-rounded group of guys. You know, um, they work very hard. So I don't, I, re, I really don't like calling out names. If I can put the whole team, I'll sure. do that because they work just as hard this summer. Now, this is your second year or third year at Jackson? Second year at Jackson. Second year at Jackson. You came in last year. Tell me about the obstacles, the things, the objections, and what you found out now that you've been there a year, mm -hmm. the reality of coaching high school football. Yeah, uh, first thing I found out, it don't pay much. I'm just <laughs> uh, That's the nah, truth. It's, 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 it's long days, long days. You you work year-round. It's a year-round thing. And, you know, luckily I have a very supportive family. You know, they help me out a lot with things that I lack on because I'm at the school almost, you know, 15 hours sometimes. Um, Cause I'm, I'm more like a perfectionist. I don't like things to be left alone. You know, getting kids right, making sure they got grades, making sure they eat. It's just kind of like you're all around parent to kids. And and I've I've coached plenty of sports, but football is totally different. And it's an environment down there where they expect to win. Yeah, Jackson. of course. You know, they've got all that tradition. So I mean, I hate to lose myself. So I try to put in all the work I could put in with me and my coaches. And, you know, day in, day out, it's just been tough. You know, I finally got a group of coaches that, you know, I could really deal with, work with. You know, last year was tough for me. I ended the season with, like, two coaches, two and a half. And right now I got a full staff, so it's, it, it, it lightens up the load. It, it feels good right now. Well, you had to learn how to deal with them, the politics of the coaches. Of course, in. yeah. It's, uh, it's tough. That I was started a, tough a program, part. man, at Coral Springs Charter back I mean, in the gotta day. You got to get people to trust you, the loyalty, and then, you know, me being a female. And I don't like to put up the female part, but a lot of people don't want to work with you. You know, just that. And, 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 I, and I could build. I'm a builder. I build from the ground up. I, I, that don't matter. I'm not, you know, we don't have – 25 five stars we got good kids that work hard for me well you know 40 percent of the people that watch hsbn are females mm -hmm. there's a, a you know the opportunity that 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 exists for you opening a door it, you're probably the only female coach and i don't want to make this a female interview but there may be and i know there will be that women out there that have thought about it but thought you know what i don't really i don't know how this thing works what i have to do no, what did you do? What, how did you want, you know, your aspiration was to be a high school coach, somebody, you know, what would they do? What would the advice should you give them if um, they wanted to coach high school football? If another woman wanted to coach high school football, make sure you have your ducks in a row. You have everything in order as far as, first of all, I believe any woman could do anything they put their mind to. That's first. It's just, you know, having the right people around you, and that's going to help you build your team, help you coach, help you do whatever. Um, that's basically it. Everything else will fall into place. It's just you have to, like I say, respect is earned. It's not given. So I'm out here trying to earn my respect, out here trying to do what I need to do to be on the same level as some of these great coaches that's around me. So I just got to put in the work. Well, you're in a tough district, in a tough, a tough area to play ball. What are your expectations this year? Um, to be better than I was last year. Okay. That's all. I can't expect too much. I know we worked hard. We work really, really hard. And um, my whole thing is, I tell the kids, we take it one game at a time. It's one week at a time. We don't think about the next game until we finish the next game, first game. So just to look at the schedule and to be like, how I feel about the schedule, I don't. I'm ready for the first game, that's it. I'm not ready for the second game yet. Who you start out with? Who you open up with? Um, we got a kickoff classic with Southwest, and then our first game is ATM. Well, it's great to meet you, Coach Brunson. I'm a big fan. Oh, man, great to meet and you, I, too. I got a smile when I see you because I still watch those reruns, and I, you know, I don't care what they say, but you are the star. 
Thank you so much, man. Nice to meet you. And you have a great season, and I hope to see you again. I hope we can bring our programs to you and support you and your kids in of these programs. Of course. I would love that, man. We need all that stuff, you know. I got to tell them the hardest part of coaching is when you lose a kid, and I, I done lost like two so in, in short years. So it's kind of like I, they need to do anything we can do to get these kids on the right track and get them out of here and go to college. Amen. Well, we're here to help you do that, and thank you so much for taking this interview. No, no problem. Thank you.